SoFi and stock market investors, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. We have some great news for SoFi in a week that there's been a bunch of really good news for SoFi. This good news is a stock market analyst recently raised their price target for SoFi stock, but it's not all good news, so stick around for the video. We're gonna talk about what happened this week with SoFi stock, my price target for a year, these analyst price targets, and what to look forward to as earnings approach in a little over a week. Really exciting time for SoFi investors. Let's get into it. All right, SoFi investors, if you take a look at the screen right here, we see SoFi technology price target raised to $12.50 from $11 at Citi. City analyst Andrew Schmidt raised the firm's price target on SoFi Technologies to $12.50 up from an original $11 price target, right? The firm says conditions for continuation of positive sector performance remain in place for the fintech group heading into Q the report. City believes a relatively benign macro environment thus far, steady to lower interest rates, more even funds flow, improving sentiment regarding larger cap multiple ceilings and transitions and further profitability ramps can better support stock valuation right so pretty much all of these headwinds sofi and the company have been facing over the last 12 24 36 months they're starting to dissipate over the next 12 24 36 months so we should see some tailwinds for not only the stock price but for the company overall for a company that's really, really beat expectations quarter after quarter, this is great news for investors. We've seen a recent run up in the stock price from around $6.70 ish over the last few months, which is great news moving forward, right? But it's not all good news. So we do a little research on this Andrew Schmidt guy from City. Not the best analyst, right? 49% success rate, not very good. And his average return is a abysmal at 1.90 percent three overall stars this guy pretty much sucks at predicting stocks considering the s p 500 is doing around 20 percent year over year this guy average return per rating 1.90 percent that is absolutely terrible but on the plus side if we take a look at all the tip ranks analysts the 14 wall street analysts offering 12 month price targets for sofi the average price target is 827 so pretty much they're all getting it wrong, right? So you have to take what these analysts say with a grain of salt because the majority of them suck at their job and they can't outperform anyone, let alone a guy on YouTube who's dominating. I think I'm up 45% in all my portfolios this year. This guy's up 1.9%. So this guy, you got to take what he says with a grain of salt, right? But we have a low of $4, average of $8.27, a high of $12, right? So the majority of these stock market analyst experts, they're getting it wrong, right? We're already over $10 a share. I think we closed at $10.18. Check it out. If we take a look at SoFi stock, we'll load it up for you guys. So yeah, we're at $10.21 right now. The last week, we're up 13%. Past month, up 24% past three months up 36 percent so the last three months have been very very good for sofi investors which is great we're making money hand over fist in this little baby account 240 shares coming around a 750 price average i have about 4,000 shares across all my portfolio so i'm really excited about what sofi can bring over the next 12 24 36 months so what is my price target for SoFi stock going forward. Analysts are really predicting that earnings per share goes up mightily in this quarter, right? They're estimating it comes in around four cents per share. Last quarter, we were at one cent and the other two quarters before that at two cents. So that's a double up from the greatest EPS earnings we have ever had. So SoFi in their predictions of what they're predicting, they do along with the analyst projections, they're coming in around four cents, right? So that's a double up from the greatest it's ever been and a 4X from the EPS of one cent last quarter, right? So fundamentals are starting to change and analysts and SoFi alike thinks the company is going to become more profitable this quarter than it has ever been in the history of SoFi, right? And to me, it's just the beginning. I think a refinance revolution is going to happen. 
over the next 12, 24, 36 months, as interest rates go down, people that are stuck with their mortgages in that three to 4% range are finally gonna be able to move out of their homes. So they're gonna need new mortgages as they get rid of their old ones. And people who are in that five, six, 7% interest rate area, as interest rates go down, are gonna start to refinance their mortgages and their high interest rate loans, right? All benefactors of SoFi as a company. So where am I going? I think 13 to $16 is where I'm at. I think I'm right around $15 price target from one year from today. We're already at 10 bucks. So we could probably blow past that if earnings are really good. Forbes just did this article on SoFi. SoFi stock could hit $15 after $2 billion fortress loan pack. So this loan pack gives SoFi access to a lot more capital. So that means they could send out and issue more loans, right? The more money they have available, the more loans they can put out to different people all over the country and all over the world. As a SoFi shareholder, I am sorry that the company's stock price trades 56% below its June 2021 peak of 2265. But I do think that expectations are big coming up, right? So fresh investment from Fortress Investment Group is huge. Access to more capital is great, right? So they're gonna have to pay them some points, obviously, to being able to access this $2 billion. But I think there's gonna be such a demand for refinances and new loans, mortgages, because they just bought Wyndham Capital, a mortgage company, all great things for SoFi, right? I think over the next 12, 24, 36 months, the profitability is gonna go through the moon for SoFi stock, guys. It's a really exciting time to be a SoFi shareholder. So I would pause your cover calls, just let this stock run, guys. Most of all my covered calls end in January. I only got to get through a couple more months. As long as SoFi stays under 15 bucks, I'm going to be okay. And I won't have to buy back new shares. But I'm going with the $15 price target one year from today, October 2025, $15 minimum. I think that's going to be like the average price target, but $20 is on the high end. So coming in the min range, $15. $20 is my high-end price target for 2025. I'm really excited about what Anthony Noto and his team can do in this lower interest rate environment. I think you should be excited too. A lot of really fun things happening right now, right? So if I getting this $2 billion loan pack from Fortress is incredible. Anthony Noto continues to under-promise and over-deliver. I think that continues. $15 price target one year. Let me know in the comments below. What are you doing with your shares? Are you buying more? Are you selling puts? Are you selling covered calls? I would love to know in the comments below. And also let me know what is your one year price target for SoFi stock? I would love to know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much. Peace.